Yeah, you should change the name to Imran Khan. Uh, the Maliki <laughs> will have called me that. He will not, will not believe. <laughs> yeah, now it's quite easy to say as well, isn't it? Yeah. Imran, um, you've been to Bangladesh, haven't you? I have, yeah. Okay, how, when was that? Last time I went was probably about close enough to 10 years ago. So why are you so gentle? You're a boxer. Why are you so gentle? I mean, the that's, way you speak okay, is so calm. And, that's um, one thing I, I was, people I was don't hoping realize. to see you come up with your... Also, and talk like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> viewers, um, I'm sorry, I can't do much here. And then I can do that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the I way it is, is, a lot of people assume that because I'm a boxer, I'm going to be very violent and aggressive and brash. But that's not the way. The only time that I am aggressive is controlled aggression as well. And that's in the rings. Like with me, I do have a very short temper. But same thing again. Another thing boxing has taught me is to control that. So. I've learned to control my temper. It's funny enough, you might not believe this, but since I've started boxing from the age of about 14 up until now, I'm 22 now, so that's nearly, what, eight years, I haven't had a fight on the street. And that's not because I haven't been put in the situation. There's been a number of occasions where someone said something or done something to me where I could have easily turned around and ended up having a fight. But boxing teaches you when to control yourself. So I looked at the person, I could look at, let's say for example, he's on the street and he threw something at me, or he was abusing me. I could easily turn around and hit him. But what does that achieve? I know I can hurt someone if I want to. The real strength comes in not attacking someone. Say I want to become famous. And uh, you see, from the camera, and I just, I just do something to you. So you push me back, and I go and, I say, I go and sue you because I've got the evi evidence here, isn't it? <laughs> what would you do if I do something to you like? Well, first of all, for you to do that, it's on the camera as well. It shows that you instigated it. So uh, uh, I, I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't <laughs> say that. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. Second of all, I wouldn't hit you back. With me, it's, what else boxing has taught me as well is, you if, for example, go. yeah, you don't go. It's like, let's say I was walking in the street and you bumped into me. I would be the first person to apologise to you. I wouldn't turn. I wouldn't start a fight with you straight away. I'd apologise to you even if it was your fault. Let's say you said it again. I'd apologise a second time. Third time. I wouldn't. Third time, because I've already apologized twice, and I'm not in the wrong. So if you can learn to apologize even when you're not in the wrong, then it shows you've learned something there. So I've got, I've got two chances. Your, you've got two chances okay, before, okay. before you, you get your head chopped. Okay. <laughs> but I've got two what chance. I'm saying is, it teaches you even uh, if I've got, got to tell my boy, boy, he's only joking. Don't worry, he's not going to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to tell my boy. Not, not on camera, don't worry. <laughs> But no worry, we, we, we've got a special protection for him. Yeah. So yeah. We, we can. L later on, we're going to get him to put that on. Yes. <laughs> okay. What I'm just trying to explain is it teaches you the self discipline again to control yourself. It's like going back to this. It's like Islamically, I've also become a lot more. I might not look like your most religious person, but Alhamdulillah, I try to pray five times a day and complete the other five pillars of Islam. And boxing has helped me a lot in that as well. People might think, oh, he's a boxer like you mentioned earlier. Uh, he's probably going out getting loads of girls and this and that because someone could easily do that. But it's taught me in other sense, like I've become closer in Islam where I don't want to do all that stuff. That's not important to me. It teaches you what's important. In one way, it's kept me so busy. I, I was normally, I was training in the morning then train again in the afternoon and then again in the evening. So where do you have time to go out and, for example, girls, drugs or any other sort of um, outlet that's not deemed to be good? So, so would you, can you predict in five or in a year time, you, your, your friends, I'm sure you're there, seeing yeah. you and they want to do that. In five years time, do you, think, do you think we'll have a Muslim champion or do you think stuff like that? Or? Inshallah, we will do it. Do you, how do you in, see it? Inshallah, I'll be, insha in. inshallah I'll be one of them. But, okay. <laughs> but what is a lot of people, it's like American was one of the first people when I looked at. I was young. And for so you how to many, see. Okay, how many famous uh, boxers did you met? Because you were a boxer yourself. How many famous did you have a link with now? It's quite easy to um, do it now. I'm I've met partner. a few. A lot of the boxers I've met, they've been old school East London boxers. Who's you that? Have to remember, Name them if you don't mind. Um, I can't remember them more off the top of okay. my head. But let me just quickly go. What is a lot of people don't realize East London has a lot of boxing heritage. So there are a lot of boxers in East London, and people, what, what they don't realise is there's a lot of um, the British culture, that community, they've had that going on for a long time. Why? Why do you, you see the British, the whites, they're pushing their kids to go boxing from a young age? Because they see how it sort of teaches them the discipline and to sort of give them something, an outlet. Because a lot of kids, like uh, my brother here, I know I said before, they have nothing to do, they're bored, so they're going out causing trouble. And because they've got lots of energy, kids have lots of energy. If you put them in a gym, 
like boxing especially where it's really physically demanding they go in there with loads of energy they come out drained drained they've got no energy to go and mess around or do this and that why not they're tired they rest and what is they enjoy it because like i said they've got a sense of belonging it's like when i had the gym i opened the gym with richard and we used to have a lot of people come here and it was like a family a lot of people used to come we used to have elder people as well not just kids we used to train kids from the age of about four upwards and we had and all the kids should train for free as well just like um Anand does as well and but the adults they used to come in after work and they used to be there for hours and hours because they feel like he's a family so if adults feel like that how would the kids feel okay just before we go um uh, you go you, do, would you like to say something to uh, young people who are watching um, um just say something to them in the camera all Anything i want to say all i want to say is from my experience no matter what you put your effort and time and if you pursue something and you put your dedication into it you will succeed and it's like with anything boxing shows you that when there's someone who comes from nothing especially that's what I love about boxing you can have someone for example you've got Manny Pacquiao he's a champion at the moment he came from the slums he had nothing absolutely when I say nothing I mean nothing he did barely had clothes or shoes to even to put on his feet now he's a champion he's multi multi millionaire but that's because of all the hard work he's put into it so that goes to anything. It doesn't have to be boxing. It could be anything you want to put, you want to do. If you put your dedication into Fantastic. it, you will get there. Brilliant. Young man, yeah, Lars, would you like to say something to your friends? Share your experiences, Ahmad. Yeah, um, <laughs> my experience, uh, throughout my experience, I've learned a lot of uh, discipline and respect. I've gained a lot of respect and I've respected others so uh, the more like you show dedication and determination the more you get did you, did you change your food habit like you're a boxer now isn't it no yeah, yeah. you use anything or what did you did you uh... yeah when i started off my footwork was absolutely off but now i've been developing uh, developing and my footwork's martial arts has been good great fantastic fantastic last word you want to say anything last word just anything yeah. um do your message, your message, come on. School friends, anything? To get somewhere in life, you need to focus and you need to yes. show determination. If you don't, if you don't put effort into anything, then you won't get anywhere. So, do them as much as you can to um, show effort and put as much can as I you just can. Quickly into. say something for me, me to listen to a young brother like this, who's only 14 years old. It shows how much boxing has helped him mature and understand. If I'm not being funny, there's probably loads of 14 year olds out there, they're probably out on the street now doing a dream, but he's in here, but that's all to do with boxing. But what is sort of impressing me a bit as well, because obviously I've met him a few times as well, and he's a, all the people I've met in boxing, what you don't realise is they're nice people, very rarely you'd meet someone who's not nice, but the point I was making is, he's so mature, you can see how much he's learnt from it already, and he's only been in this for a very small amount of time. So you can imagine after a few years down the line, whether he pursues it or he doesn't, all the qualities he's gained from it and all the benefits he